Welcome to Ask Mark week number 80. We're talking texting today, all things texting, how to make him text back faster, what to text him in this beautiful location on the steps of the Opera House and the Bridge. How cool is that? Thought take many outside and we do some stuff out here today. Been down in Sydney, just coaching course. Well, this coaching course just wrapped up. Really excited for what it's going to do for my clients. But what you came to this video for is texting stuff. So let's get straight into that. Hit the subscribe button and let's go. The first question is from Fasandra. And Fasandra says, can you do a video that addresses how to deal with a guy who is consistently at least 15 minutes to text back between each response when he was the one who initiated the text. Clearly he has his phone on him. Uh, is this a game? Is he just not that into me? This drives me crazy. Should I address this with him or just leave it since we have an in-person date planned? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Fasandra, for this one. His texting style isn't that unreasonable. It's every 15 minutes he's probably doing things. He could be working, he could be chatting to other people, he could have put his phone in the kitchen while he went to the living room. This expectation we have that everyone will reply straight away is, it really assumes that people have their phone on them all the time, which just isn't reasonable. Look, in the end, it's, it's up to you to decide what you will and won't accept. And you can make texting back instantly a standard of yours and you can rule this guy out because he doesn't meet that standard. My suggestion though, would be to take your intimacy needs from things that are more important. Things like the real connections in person, things like connections over the phone and how you're feeling as those things progress throughout the early dating and relationship. Now the other thing you can do is if you're sitting there expecting him to text back every 15 minutes in particular, it might be worth going, well, what else can I be doing in this time? So I would very much think about if this is really a standard for you, is it? You, you can make whatever standard you want. And if it is, you can enforce that and say, hey, this is an expectation of mine, you know, for a person I'm seeing, take me or leave me. But my suggestion would really be to go, well, what else can I be doing where I'm doing other things or not even looking at my messenger? And number two, how can I actually qualify men on something that matters, like the way he calls or the way he treats me, interacts with me in person, rather than text, which is really the lowest form of connection. Some good food for thought there for you, for Sandra. Second question is from Anna. And Anna says, hey Mark, wondering what does it mean when a guy seems into you and you're chatting over text and he says, let me know if you're in my area of town and we'll hang out. I assume it means he's not very interested, but my friends say it could just be him being shy and that I should give him a chance. What is your opinion? Well, I created a couple of texts for you, Anna, because this is, this is a really simple one. Shyness really doesn't exist over text. Now, sometimes people will pull back because they don't want to be too vulnerable. I'd literally send him this. I'd literally send him, hmm, so do I have to be in your area for, me to, for you to take me out, do I? Or even, personally, I think I'm worth taking out whether I'm in your area or not. With a little blushing emoji. Perfect response. Uh, you can do that or you can get him to call you. You know, just, just put yourself out there, ask him to step up or even, you know, ask him, have him step up with you and you'll get your answer pretty quickly as to how invested he is and whether he wants to take things to the next level with you. Good question. Next one is from Jenny uh, and Jenny says, Hi Mark, some relationships are pretty much text only with maybe a few Skype sessions during the whole lifetime of the relationship. Uh, would your advice here be the same or are there different protocols? Again, I'm just gonna be honest with you, Jenny. There are no relationships that are text only with occasional Skypes. It's an oxymoron. Yeah, you will get couples that go away and talk on Skype once a week. Okay, that's a normal relationship. Um, but no, not throughout the lifetime of a relationship. That's a, a temporary thing. And then it comes together to be more than that. So Jenny, I'm just gonna be honest. This is not a relationship. It's not a real connection, especially when you talk about the whole lifetime of the relationship. I think I'd really be looking at, at building higher quality levels of connection throughout your relationship. And if you are in something that has started at a distance, making sure there's an end date to that distance so you can have a much higher quality of relating. Uh, and the final question is from Melissa. And Melissa says, oh, lol, if he takes 10 minutes to reply, I'm gonna take 20. If he goes an hour, I'm gonna go three, the end. Pretty much the definition of playing games. Don't do that, okay? Imagine if he was doing it, to, don't, don't do that. Just, just don't do that. Like I say, if you put your phone away, great, you're doing other things, but don't do that. That's just, if you're playing games like this, he's gonna play games like this with you. It's, it's really that simple. You, the world's a mirror. 
Uh, and actually a little quickie bonus. Uh, Elaine wrote something that I wanted to show you. Uh, Elaine said, uh, that's a great book, very informative. This was about the, the little Love Languages review book video that I did. Uh, she says, P.S. I really like the cushions behind you, especially the ones with the flowers to your left. Can I please ask you, where did you get them from? You certainly can, Elaine. I got them from my mum. Actually, my mum made them, they're hers, and I was sitting at her place. So unfortunately, I can't say you any, but aren't they super beautiful? Thank you for the compliment. I'm going to pass this on to her. That is the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the change of scenery and getting out here. Uh, this is Australia, so I thought I'd show you a bit more of that. Leave your comments, thoughts, questions all in the space below. You know what to do. Comments for next week. I'd love to hear them. Hit the like button and the big red subscribe button with the little bell. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next Ask Mark very soon.